In this tutorial, we will discuss zoom transitions. One is the basic zoom transition. Another is zooming transition with rotation. Here, two videos are loaded to the sequencer. Move the, the second movie the frame of 200. Move the current frame to 202. Click the, the second movie to select it. Add a transform to the second movie. Click the green strip to select it. Click the checkbox of uniform scale. It means that scale for X is the same as the scale for Y. Change scale to 0, which means that we cannot see the second movie in frame 200. Add a keyframe. Change blend to overdrop. It is important. Move the current frame to 300. Let us change the scale, by holding the mouse left button, and moving to left or right. You see, the second movie becomes bigger and bigger, with the increasing of the scale. Set the scale to 1, which means that the second movie, is shown in full screen. Add a keyframe. Play. In the previous example, the second movie is zooming in, during the transition. In this example, I will add another feature, zooming with rotation. Here, two videos are loaded to the sequencer. Move the current frame to 200. Move the, the second movie the frame of 200. Two. Click the, the second movie to select it. Add a transform to the second movie. Click the green strip to select it. Click the checkbox of uniform scale. Add a keyframe. Set the rotation of 0, which means that no rotation in frame 200. Add a keyframe. Move the current frame to 300. Oh, no, scale should be 0 in frame 200. Let us move the current frame to 200. Change the scale to 0. Click the mouse right button. When the mouse in the field of scale, a menu pop-ups. Select replace keyframe. Now, move the current frame to 300 again. Change the scale to 0 0.54. Keep on changing the value of rotation. The movie 2 is rotated. With the increasing value of rotation, movie 2 will rotate one circle, when the value is 360. Let us change the scale to 1. Change the value of rotation to 360. Add a keyframe. Add a keyframe. Oh, the movie 1 is not shown, during the transition. Change blend to overdrop. Play again. Now, you see, changing blend to overdrop is very important. The concept of keyframe is the key to understand how to add advanced features for Blender editing. Firstly, select two positions to add two keyframes. For example, frame 200 and frame 300. Then set scale of 0 in frame 200 for movie 2. That is, we cannot see movie 2 because it's scale of 0. Add a keyframe to movie 2. After that, set scale of 1 in frame 300 for movie 2. That is, we can see full screen of movie 2 because of its scale of 1. Add a keyframe to movie 2. Now, the scale for movie 2 is linearly changed from 0 to 1 for frame 200 to frame 300. For example, in frame 225, the scale is 0 0.25. And one fourth of movie 2 is shown. In frame 275, the scale is 0 0.75. And three fourth of movie 2 is shown. The concept of keyframe in Blender is beyond this. We will further investigate in the following tutorial to build more advanced features. Thanks for taking time to watch this topic.
If you do like my channel, X Science, please subscribe, comment, and share the videos to your friends. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.